is Lauren Lockman from the Tanglewood Wellness Center in Costa Rica. And I've been asked a question this morning, which comes up every once in a while. And the question is, do you get dehydrated if you swim in the sea? A lot of people would imagine if they thought about this that you would. And how might this happen? Well, the answer really, I think, is it depends on which sea you swim in. Ray is here from Israel. And in Israel, anyone here been to Israel? No? Visit the Dead Sea? No? I was in the Dead Sea a long time ago, and you can't sink. You know why? The salt content is so high that you're much more buoyant than you normally would be in water. So now some people imagine that you're actually absorbing salt when you're in the water, but that doesn't happen. We don't absorb salt, or at least not much of it, through the skin. But what, what does happen is osmosis. And osmosis is the movement of water from a concentration, low solute concentration, to a high solute concentration, which means if you go into water that contains a lot of salt, the water is going to migrate from your body into the sea. Okay? If you go into water that contains um, less salt than in your body, then you might actually pick up some water theoretically. Now, in a typical ocean, the, content, the water content in the, in the sea is about the same as in our body. So there's no real exchange. It should have little impact on you whatsoever. But in the Dead Sea, I think there's a very good chance it would actually dehydrate you if you spent much time there. I don't know. It'd be interesting to ask Ray what her experience has been and what, what the experience of other people has been. Do they feel that if they spend enough time in that water? So in most cases, you know, if you're watching this and you're concerned about going to the beach and swimming around, you probably don't have anything to worry about. It shouldn't have any significant impact on you. I can tell you from the 10 plus years now, 10 and a half years that I've lived here in the tropics, many trips to the beach, even when I'm at the beach, my water intake doesn't change. I'm not, you know, I don't, it doesn't, how I feel and, and my hydration level isn't affected in any significant way at all by time spent in the ocean. And I think that's because in a typical sea, there's, there's very little water movement that's likely to happen. If you go someplace where there's a very, very high concentration of salt, yes, I think it's likely to impact you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information about fasting in general, we've got a playlist there. If you're interested in fasting for specific conditions, you can check out that list. If you want to hear what people experience was in their own words, we've got a group there. And then we've got another one, which is all about optimal diet, how to maximize your health.